So you see, it, I, I think it, it, it will be a, a much wider variety of applications with people wanting to travel slower, with people needing to travel faster, with people having this, lots of people having the same need for travel so that we need large aircraft to carry people from one place to another. So we're looking at things which are inspired from birds, basically speaking. An aircraft uh, has to go through a number of uh, stages in the, in the flight, in, in the mission, so you have different conditions. So we need uh, shapes which can optimize to each and every condition. So one aircraft will actually go from one configuration to a different configuration, etc., following the, the mission, the whole mission. Uh, along with the design of the propulsion system, yes, the shape necessarily becomes a driver for, for environmental concerns. But the use of the air will compensate the problems we have with the use of land. So we, we need to, to, make, um, a, to take advantage of the space in the air uh, to, to cover some needs that we, we might not uh, be able to cover with the, with the land. If, if you think of a, a blended wing body, which is uh, vehicles that we're looking at now, uh, they, they have the wings, but they're blended into the, the fuselage. The fuselage has a different shape from now, uh, but the wings are still there. And this makes, uh, uh, well, for, for a clever um, configuration, it, it, makes, it does make a, a very substantial gain in uh, aerodynamic efficiency. So see, we, we're still uh, trying to, to design aircraft to, tr to carry passengers, not just to design new aircraft. So focusing on the uh, opportunity of carrying passengers from one place to another and having this wing with the cabin inside with, where we, we uh, offer space for passengers, uh, this can lead to substantial improvements in, uh, in drag, in overall aerodynamic efficiency and also in terms of structures. we will have a lot of niche uh, businesses like this for people who want to travel uh, faster, much faster at hypersonic speeds from one place to another. So they will have to go to, the, to, to actual outer space or um, above the uh, uh, current altitudes. <laughs>